Hey, check this out, right? I was just building the tunnel through to lead to the space center and recycling plant that we're building at the moment. Watch when I go through the tunnel. Are ready? <laughs> it's like a little dance party going on in here. I don't know why it does that. It's quite fun though, isn't it? Hey? Like having a rave inside and all the strobe lights going. Anyway, hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. We're in the middle of building a recycling center. Uh, at the moment and I'm happy with the layout we laid out last episode where certain buildings are gonna go uh, the sizes of the buildings and and a little bit of thought process into it now I'm using a stock cartoon image to base this off and that's that's difficult to do I mean we've used reference images before for you know space rockets and buildings and stuff like that but using cartoon images is a little harder because you don't have the depth that you do from a real image uh, so it's a little bit more work for us, but I, I, I'm enjoying the challenge, right? Uh, today, I'd really like to get some height on some of these buildings now. Uh, so I think that's probably what we're going to start on. We're going to start on this one right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up. I'm going to want uh, snow. Well, let's turn the old shaders off as well. I nearly quit the game. Uh, it doesn't matter what block I use. So this is going to be a relatively tall-ish building, like taller than the um, sort of factory part of it, the sort of storage part. Something... I think around there should be good for the first level set uh, ooh, mm -hmm. if we do set snow block it's going to be uh, solid who cares it's a solid building we don't do interiors that often anyway and I can always hollow it out it's like takes like two seconds okay and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do another one up here like this so i'm going with white because it's a very clean block uh nothing really um although you can't see too much depth on it which is what we're, why we're adding these sort of step-ins uh it looks very modern and that's what you want to have a recycling center you want recycling centers to look nice and clean uh so yeah we're going with that now i want a little sloped roof this is going to be tricky but i want a little sort of sloped section at the top here so i think the easiest way is probably just to do it by hand and work up each layer and I want to leave two blocks before we go up another one. So then we'll come down with these. Like that. And back round. Oh, it's not there. I don't want it to come in as well. I just want it to slope up on one edge. And then this one. Along here. Now, I don't know if I want to slope all the way. I think I'm probably at the slope that I want. It's just like a, a subtle slope on there. That's what the cartoon image has. So I'm trying to keep as close to that as possible, making it work inside of Minecraft. Okay. A lot of uh, funnels as well on this place. We've got two funnels on top of the building. And then three funnels that we've laid out the sort of blueprints to down here. Uh, these ones look to be shorter ones on the top. Let's grab some black for those. And they don't need to be that big. I mean, we could do something like, that's probably a nice simple size. You know, I might just go with the one on the top because we don't really have room to do another one unless I wanted to go to a circle that size. You know, I might do. It fits nicely, doesn't it? If I shove that over by one. I always place them one block out of where I want it. And then shove this one over by one. Yeah, that should work. Uh, and these are just going to go up a little bit. And I think we'll have a yellow strip at the top just to give it a little bit of colour, a little bit of accenting. Uh, one block below uh, where it's going to peak. So maybe around here or something like that. Yellow. Bing. And then black like that. I don't want it to look too um, dirty. I don't want it to look like pollution. Um... Which is why we're trying to keep with a lot of green, like the green roof on the barn. You know, it's a, it's a sign of recycling whenever you see a green bin and stuff like that, or at least where I am. No, in fact, that's wrong. Where I am, black bins are recycling and green bins are waste. But in my head, in my mind, I always see green as a sort of recycling colour. Okay, I like that. Now what we're going to do is grab uh, this section. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to grab it. <laughs> and go up here. And uh, we need a decent height. To about there, I think. Perfect. That is going to be perfect. Set snow block. That connects it up to this building. And then I'm going to put some depth. And the way that I'm going to do the depth on here is I'm just going to 
carve out some channels just so when we're looking at the building from from you know this angle it doesn't look like a white sort of block there and then we're going to have a load of windows above here with probably oh yeah i forgot about that i'll just carve two out that'll be fine um with probably black stained glass now black stained glass might look a little dark uh, or it, it, like when you first think of it you might think oh I, dark windows look dirty and stuff like that but if we used white stained glass i think it would be too white uh oh man if i shoved that over by one block it would be perfect just move those over uh like that now it ends at, window ends at that side and window ends at this side it's perfect it's bang on uh, glass uh, gray could work but I think black's gonna give the uh, a nice polarizing effect 160 15 replace oops caps doesn't work with caps for some reason replace air with 160 15 was it I've forgotten already pow, pow. excellent and then some ones around the top here as well um, I'm just gonna carve out one block deep until I know it's right Oh, it's, it's literally like, I'll do it like that, or have like one larger one in the middle. I think that's a better idea. So I'm just carving these back just so the window panes uh, don't c uh, connect to uh, the, the block behind it. That's why I'm just pushing it back by a block. Beautiful. Okay. Very new. Uh, very modernized i i really like that especially when you back off here although it's just a white building it really has a lot of character to it we might change uh the bottom block and maybe the one yeah i think we'll probably change the bottom block to a gray um cyan stained clay would work for this uh we'll just grab this corner i don't need to worry about the middle building the middle buildings or like the connecting one is so small there's not really any point uh clay i want cyan clay 159.9 uh set 159.9 okay so i just lifts the building up a little bit there i'm happy with that uh now these tubes these big funnels here we might as well put the build these first and then build up the base underneath them uh, i don't know what the easiest way to do this is going to be maybe uh I don't know if, if if hand would be better or copy and paste. So I've grabbed two layers here. So we'll copy, go up to paste. There we go. It'll be quicker from now. Uh, hello? Oh, I must have paste when I was jumping. So, <clears throat> oh, voice. So how high do these want to go? Uh, I want them to be a little bit lower than the top level of that white. I think it probably is easier just to do it by hand. We only have to build one of them though, and then we can copy and paste it. So just a little bit lower than where the white part finishes. Do I want to put smoke out of here? I might do a ye yellow ring, then a black ring, then another yellow ring, and then a black ring. Just so we get two on the top of this one. They're bigger. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. Uh, at the moment, can I... Is there any way that I can... Like, cone them in? A little bit? Like... Oops. Just so they're not, like, almost square all the way up. If they just sort of... I don't know what the word... What would the word be? bevel no not bevel i don't know what i don't know what the word would be so i'll just put those there 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 and there and then change the yellow ones uh yellow never does the one i want yellow yellow Okay, yeah, no, that works. That just bevels it in just that little bit. Uh, I might drop it down a little bit further. Just by a couple of blocks, I think. And then just 
supposed to add some underneath these. Okay. Was that all of them? That was all of them. Mm-hmm. And then take these ones out. Like that. And put them in there. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And then the yellow. So now we get smaller as we get closer to the top. I don't think we need to go any smaller than that. It's got a one wide opening, so if we wanted to, we could have something come out of the top. But if we back off here, it just looks like it gets a little bit thinner uh, as it goes up. And that's, that's all we really want out of this. So let's take this now, that one, and that one. We'll just stand here, copy, paste, and paste. Uh, this part on the picture, right, this sort of base that these sit on is white. Uh, but that's going to blend into the white building too much. So I'm going to do a light grey, if we've got a light grey. Yeah, a light grey wool would actually be perfect. What is that? 35.8. That'll actually be perfect. It's just off-white. It's got a, uh, a little bit of a texture to it. If I do it off this corner, it'll be better. It's got just off-white. It's got a little bit of texture to it, so it doesn't look blank like um, this one would. Because I would use that one, but it's a little bit too plain. Uh, let's go up a few blocks as well. Just maybe two or three. We'll try three. And we want to set it to 35.8. Set 35.8. Okay, so let's just put a, a platform on there. We don't want people climbing up on it. Uh, it just sets them off the ground a little bit. You can run pipes underneath there. I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, on the back side, there's these two silos. That's the only thing I can call like These giant cylinders that sort of look like farming silos. I don't know if they would have some kind of chemical in them to help break things down or what. I don't know what they are. I, I have no idea. Uh, we do have a middle point, though, so I'm hoping that we can just do a cylinder of some kind. Hollow cylinder made out of snow blocks. Uh, I don't know, is it three blocks in diameter, one block high just for the minute? It was perfect. Oh, no. Let's go out by one. Undo. Let's do four and one. You know, that's close enough that I'm happy. And then we'll just shove it up. So how many? 20? I want it to be... That's a little bit too high. I want it to be, again, just below there. I think maybe a 15 would be the perfect number. We'll just go up nice and high. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, do I want to do them at the same time? They're only white, so we'll do another one there. Kapow and kapow. Perfect. Okay. So there's the two, um, what do you call them? Silo? I, I don't know what they are. I should really like look into them more. I did when, what was I building? The water treatment plant. I looked into the like a little bit of technology behind water treatment plants, which is why... Uh, we sort of knew what sort of tanks we needed and, and stuff like that. You know, what sort of pools and stuff for certain uh, parts of the process. But we made up our own technology behind it because obviously ours is on a smaller scale. Ours is just more efficient. So I'm going to cap the tops of those off. Then we're going to get the nice smooth block. And just run this around the edge. My clicking today is off. Look at that. Usually a lot smoother. There we go. And get closer. This one. Now, these silos at the top have like a little pipeline that then runs to inside of the, the barn part here. And I can probably get away with using the actual pipes that we have. I'm going to do that because they're going to look cool. They're loud though, so uh, be warned. We're going to do a little part like this. Oh no, I'm going to use cyan. Just so it's darker and it stands out a little bit more. And I might do it like that instead. So one on there and one on, on there. And then we'll have straight pipe, straight pipe. Oh, why is it not making a sound? Maybe I've turned that sound off. Maybe it falls under a mob sound or something like that for some reason. Bent pipe. Okay, so it looks like it's going uh, straight into there. 
and then oh yeah they look pretty cool uh, who knows what this is though i don't know straight pipe straight pipe bent pipe did i use i think i used a bent pipe at the bottom there didn't i yeah i did that's why it connected up i wondered why it connected up bent pipe straight pipe if you use the bent pipes they connect up to blocks like around them if you use straight pipes they only go in the direction that you place them uh like a piston does in that sort of uh way all right really happy with that that's nice and simple uh it does the effect that we want i'm i'm pretty happy with that let's work on a little shed here a little hut for the security it's actually quite a nice sized um security hut really i might change it up to cyan clay at the end so we get that sort of bottom uh different sort of look in there uh i always do my doors on this world two blocks wide three blocks high it's just sort of the scale that we use here on the medieval city we go with the standard door size uh, but i don't know why we just use a, a bigger door size on uh, in this world it just seems to to fit with the the builds better or something okay so we'll carve out a window there and uh maybe a window on the front and then a little one on the side just like a little sort of cabin one okay uh on the top here it's going to be a flat roof i'm probably going to go with yellow again i like the yellow and green so we put this yellow on top of here I do like yellow and white together. It's a really nice combination. And then a black slab. Perfect. Absolutely black slab here. As the roof. The pal. Uh, for the windows. Uh, where's my wand gone? Wand. Uh, glass. One. It is 160. I thought it was replace air with 160 i thought maybe um 160 was normal glass though put that one in i don't need a door we never put doors on and one in there take oops this away i am going to replace the bottom with cyan and then we're going to use a different sort of color for the stick replace snow block with 159 pow uh and then a pole uh mossy would work the light gray or well, quartz could work as well the pillared quartz block it's just off white you can tell the difference slab we'll use this chappy and then red and uh do we have white wool we do just so it looks a little bit different red white red white red white just gonna make it a little bit longer We'll take this out. We don't need two lanes to get in here. Uh, we only need the one, so I don't need to make it huge. We shall set that to stone. And then set the surrounding area to stone. Uh, it doesn't matter really how wide I go. I just want to be in line with the, uh, the path, the other side of the path there. So we'll come up here. On this side, we'll go pretty much as far as we can. We just want to um, have a, a, some sort of wall around here. Set stone. And uh, also around the outside, they have, on the picture, they have a, like a yellow uh, border. And I think it's going to work really well for us here as well. Yellow. 159.4. Set 159.4. Uh, I think it's sort of a... Um, an american picture probably because i know is it in america that you have yellow lines in the middle of the road as, as opposed to white like the dividing lines here in the uk they're white which is why i've done it white um but i think in the states is it yellow in the middle of the road it's, it's some country that's what they've got on the image here so i can imagine that maybe these would probably be white if they were over here but i like the yellow feel so we'll join that one up to there okay looks good i'm happy uh for a wall that surrounds it, it doesn't need to be tall i think we'll do something like how we done like with the fence there so have like a couple of blocks underneath it 
and then iron bars but i don't want to have the dividers like we have here that looks too secure and uh, this doesn't need to be hugely secure i mean at the end of the day who's going to break into a recycling center maybe there's people that do <laughs> maybe that's the thing i don't know uh we'll just put these down around the next layer around the yellow oh it's a monster egg um cobblestone i saw it guys don't you worry oh it's gonna bloom and get one out though isn't it oh no it didn't why didn't it how strange okay probably wouldn't have mattered because i was just, i was gonna set the block anyway there to there set gobble oops set sobble cobble that one over here now we need to have another block on top of this though this is going to be our sort of bottom block but we need another one because um huh uh because of the texture that we have on the side also goes on the top but it doesn't change direction if it changes direction we wouldn't have a problem good that's better yeah see how it goes this way uh when the blocks are going that way but then if you place the blocks down the lines follow it's fine when the lines follow but <laughs> when they don't it looks really weird okay so then we'll just bring it down to there so then we want to put another block on top of this uh for this we probably can just use mossy stone it's the same color then it just has like a nice break in it uh let's also just for my sanity bring this path up like that okay and put this around here well huge amount of progress today on this i think we've got one more episode here just to finalize it up uh 48 just to finalize everything up uh we need to make the land connect nicely so we don't have like these 90 degree corners everywhere because uh, they suck uh you know terraform it in a little bit nicer uh, but apart from that and some uh, road markings maybe use something for bins we might be able to do the bins today in fact uh let's have these go up though just at, like the edges one two three and then two blocks of fences i think would be more than enough So we'll go here, one, two, three, replace air with iron bar, oops, yeah. and then that one. On the front we'll leave, uh, we'll either leave it open or we'll do a smaller wall, I just don't want to have the fence running along the front as well, I don't think that would look very good. I always click the wrong one, I clicked the right one this time, nope. Like that it just it's just a nice perimeter uh, it's not too intrusive the colors match in it's looking modern i really like that i really like that okay uh, that's gonna do it for this episode though i'm a little bit short on time uh, if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button if you're already then feel free to subscribe next episode hello phone we'll be finishing this off and uh, moving on to something else all right guys 